Hello and welcome to the second episode of Backyard Scientist. If you are new here, then you can find our first episode by clicking on the button in the top left where we discuss about the universe which is hidden from our eyes. In this episode, we will talk about what is refraction and what are converging lenses. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So let us start the second episode. We will begin by defining what is refraction. Refraction is the change in the direction of a wave passing from one medium to another or from a gradual change in the medium. And I said change in the direction of a wave, not light, because all waves follow this phenomenon, not just the light waves. Now, let us talk about the laws of refraction which are important to know here. The first law says the incident ray, refracted ray, and the normal to the interface between the two media at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane. The second law says the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of diffraction is a constant. This law is also called the Snell's law of refraction. Notice that as light enters a medium which has higher index of refraction, it bends towards the normal and as it enters a medium which has lower index of refraction, it bends away from the normal. So now let us jump to a simulation to understand what I just explained. So this is the page which we are going to use as our simulation. So let me just quickly introduce you to the elements of this page. So this here is the source of light as you can see. I can just simply click this red button to switch it on and off. In this side you have this palette which from where you can choose the light to be in the different spectrum. So you can go from the blue end of the spectrum to the red end of the spectrum and you can choose anywhere in the between. And this wave and ray just shows you how you can choose your light to be viewed as. You can view it as a ray or you can view it as a wave. So that is how this works. And the main thing which I want to show you is the different mediums through which the light is going to travel. So you can see that right now this is material A and this is material B. And material A is selected to be air by default and material B is selected to be glass by default. And as you can see that the refractive index of air is 1 and the refractive index of glass is 1.5. If I can change it to water, then you can see that the refractive index of water is 1.336. So we can just simply use these uh, drop-down menus to choose medium that we want our light ray to go through. Or you can also use these sliders here to change the material. So I'll just keep material A as, the, as air and I will just keep material B as yeah, water. Let's let's start by water. So let me just turn off this ray of light and uh, let's see what happens. So you can see that this is a normal between the two different interface. This is a normal on the point of incidence. And as you can see that the way of light, uh, let me just uh, turn into red for better visibility. So you can see that the light is bending towards the normal. And to verify that, you can click on this angles here and you can see that here the angle of incidence is 45 degrees and the angle of refraction is 32 degrees so the light indeed is bending towards the normal. Now let me just change this material to glass and you can see that it has bent even further. It is now bending, the angle of refraction is now 28.1 degrees. So I can just simply use the slider to go from the one end to the other end and you can see that the light is being refracted at different angles as I keep changing this refractive index and the material so this is how it is done one interesting thing which also happens which i would like to share is that you all know that the speed of light is the formula for the speed of light is c is equal to the wavelength of light to the in times the frequency of light so the frequency of the light is not dropping as it is going from one medium to another but the wavelength is dropping so what happens is since the speed of light is directly dependent to the wavelength and the frequency, so if the wavelength of the light is going down, the speed of light must also go down. And now you might be thinking, wow, isn't the speed of light always the same? And the answer is yes, the speed of light is always the same. But whenever light enters into a medium which has a higher index of refraction, it slows down because of the wavelength of the light is 
changing and its wavelength is getting shorter and that is why the speed of the light has to go down because the frequency is not changing and that is what is happening and we can even verify that let me just turn it to wave and let me uh, just pick this speed tool here if I put it here you can see that the speed of this wave is 1.00 c which is the speed of light but as soon as I put this speed tool here you can see that the speed of light is 0.75 c so the wavelength has gone down and consequently the speed of the light has also go down and you can just uh, right now it's a custom material let me just show water let me just keep it as water so in water the speed of light becomes 0.75 c in glass the speed becomes 0.67 c and this is how the speed keeps changing if i i move the slider up and down you can see that the speed of light is constantly changing as the refractive index is changing because the wavelength is dropping by different uh, by a different factor in different materials so this is how we use this simulation to understand refraction now let me just quickly show you one more interesting simulation which is this prism one here also we have a source of light as you can see and let me just show you what we can do here so we can make this a uh, multiple streams of light source we can choose it like this to have a white light source in a black background but let me just keep it this way and you can see that the environment in which this light is moving is right now air and I can change it to water, I can change it to glass just like I could in the previous simulation. And this is the shape of the material through which the light is going to pass. So right now it is glass. Let's just use glass for now and let me just click the normal on so that you can see that the light is bending towards and away from the normal. So let me just pick this one up or let me just pick the prism. I put the prism and I just turn it to get a better visualization so you can see that as the light is entering into the material into glass it is bending towards the normal and as it is exiting the glass it is bending away from the normal so this is basically what refraction is and I hope that this simulation has helped you to understand refraction of light in a much better way now that we have understood what is the refraction of light, let us take a look at the converging lens. You can notice that the incident ray refracts towards the normal as it enters the lens and it again refracts but this time away from the normal as it exits the lens. And this is how lenses are designed so that all the rays which are coming out of the lens will be converged at a single point. And this property of lenses to converge the light at a single point allowed us to make refracting lenses. In the next episode, you will learn how converging lenses form real and virtual images, which will finally lead us to the answer that how we made our very first telescopes. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel for future videos because we have tons of interesting content on the way. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, clear skies.